Oh, that's interesting. How perfect is your judgment? Does it never falter? Does it never err? I know it's never had room for emotion. I don't let feelings cloud my judgment either. How could I? Now... I think it's time to find a place where those feelings belong. Farewell, my lord. That was a neat touch. The them having a different crossing yourself gesture because of the different pattern of the god. Although it was kind of hard to read. I came to say goodbye. Not as a cardinal, but as a friend. What do you say? Just like old times? Well aged. A good bottle. You should know you gave it to me. As a cardinal. I let myself get too caught up in the little things. Don't be too hard on yourself. What could be smaller than the troubles between two people? You're right. All we've ever done is choose between good and evil, as it suits us. That's why there's nothing I want more than to kill him! <laughs> These aren't ruins. God walks among us here. If you think God bothers to meddle in human lives... ...you'll never find a place for those feelings. Which is why I folded my wings. I want to fall. He's gone. Rowan, is this really what you wanted? How can I turn him from the same path that I've chosen for myself? So I recognize the guy in the hat, but not the woman. Reference the guy in the hat is from one of the pre title cutscenes. <sighs> well, isn't this a surprise? What's it been? One? Two years? <laughs> what brings you by? Your own business? I'm looking for a boy named Zephyr. It's my understanding you've taken him in. Oh, I don't think he's around, actually. Yeah, I remember him saying something about uh, going on a trip. <laughs> so, what did you need? I'll uh, be sure to give him the message. I never stopped investigating the incident. There are some loose ends that need tying. That's in the past. Your god passed his judgment on that a long time ago. God. <laughs> I think I may have come around to your way of thinking on that. I haven't come to you as a cardinal in service of his god. I'm here as an ordinary man. Well then, I don't see much reason to let you in. So you judge him worthy of life? Kill me now, then, while you have the chance. The next time we meet, we'll be enemies. Or maybe we can come to an arrangement. If it's money you want, name your price! I don't judge him.
Zephyr! Do you still have the scriptures, boy? We have much to discuss, you and I. There's a bridge nearby. Meet me there and we'll talk. Just the two of us. Vacheron, I can't find Zephyr. <laughs> so, he went. Well, aren't we going to go help him? He made his bed. Let him lie in it. Are you serious? So chat has just pointed out that I do know the cutscene that the woman is from. Um, it's the one where I got really irritated about the um, blended malt whiskey. Because if it's a blend, it's not a malt. And also, they held up being a blended malt as a good thing, whereas blends are cheap. Um, although, as Leroy points out in chat, that is kind of a Western thing, and this Resonance of Fate is a better Western than Wild Arms. I'm going to really regret taking these quests if they put shit between me and the bridge. Also, that's called a dying request. From the clothes shop. Thank you. <coughs> now, I think this is the chapter that Austin said I should look up for a guide for, and I don't have a guide to hand. So this could be a little bit painful. And I should probably save. Been a while since I was out on my own. Okay, I can't save, so we might be watching all those cutscenes again, folks. I know, they're skippable. Using grenades is going to be something of a problem, because... Zephyr is my hybrid character with machine gun and pistol. I'm glad you came, Zephyr. Do you remember me? I was the witness assigned to your execution. My name is Lagerfeld. I was once Cardinal of the 10th Diocese of Chandelier. I've come to bury the grief of the bereaved and the dead. And if I'm lucky, my own. I feel like there really ought to be a joke in Cardinal Lagerfeld. Mass had finally started when, from the far end of the hall, a muffled scream rang out. It had Don't begun. shoot his hat off now, I'll need that for bezel. We arrived twenty minutes later. When I saw the carnage that awaited us, it was beyond all imagining. Tell me! What did the girl slumped in the corner of the alcove say before she died? The explosion wreaked such damage, many of the corpses were beyond recognition. How should we mark their graves? The mother of a boy whose body was riddled with bullets said she could forgive you. Tell me! Why did you live while they died? Is your life worth more than theirs? It sickens me to even look you at you. You wait see you got me. Your life is a blasphemy. Your very existence shakes the foundation of faith. Only your death will satisfy me.
Oh good, he put his hat back on. You're about to learn something very interesting, Zephyr. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm only here to kill you. This battle is just oh, a pretense God. to tell you the truth. Like, what you're truth not even wrong, Leroy, Zephyr. but I'm you not reading that out loud. But you were never alone. been misguided, but you were never alone. My bullets are a one way to get down. Come on, don't jam on me now. Game over. A scratch. Such careless attacks will get you nowhere. Not really my kind of weapon. I'm up in here! What, he can teleport in the middle of attacking? This is bullshit. Guided, but you were never alone. Something very interesting, Zephyr. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm only here to kill you. This battle is just a pretense to tell you the truth. What truth? I have a million and a half gold. I will happily just retry this until I get a star. Something very interesting, Zephyr. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm only here to 
only here to kill you. This battle is just a pretense to turn. What the hell did I do differently the first time? I mean, this didn't happen. You're about to learn something very interesting, Zephyr. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm only here to kill you. This battle is just a pretense to tell you the truth. What truth? Zephyr, you may have oh, been misguided, that, but you were never alone. Can he attack me through the wall with melee? You're about to learn something very interesting, Zephyr. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm only here to kill you. This <coughs> is just a pretense to tell you the truth. What truth? Zephyr, you may have been misguided, but you were never alone. Really not just a scratch surface. You're about to learn something very interesting, Zephyr. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm only here to kill you. This battle is just a pretense to tell you the truth. What truth? To learn something very interesting, Zephyr. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm only here to kill you. This battle is just a pretense to tell you the truth. What truth? Zephyr, you may have been misguided. But you were never alone. Don't move a scratch! Something very interesting, Zephyr. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm only here to kill you. This battle is just a pretense to tell you the truth. What truth? Zephyr, you may have been misguided, but you were never alone. Nothing like death! Don't jam on me now! Don't understand it! 
I mean, he looks like a DMC boss, so it's entirely possible. Okay, that was effective. Come on, don't jam on me now. Too slow. Such careless attacks will get you nowhere. Don't have precise enough control of whether the where the marker goes. This. What truth? Zephyr, you may have been misguided, but you were never alone. You'll learn something very interesting, Zephyr. Thanks, I haven't seen a single no full thanks. scratch here yet. I'm only here to kill you. This battle is just a pretense to tell you the truth. What truth, Zephyr? You may have been misguided, but you were never alone. Don't jam on me now. 
is the spot. How does that not make this fucking scratch stick? This fight is bullshit. Very interesting, Zephyr. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm only here to kill you. This battle is just a pretense to tell you the truth. What truth, Zephyr? You may have been misguided. Something very interesting, Zephyr. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm only here to kill you. This battle is just a pretense to tell you the truth. What truth? Zephyr, you may have been misguided, but you were never alone. Work out when he's going to do that move. Come on, don't jam on me now. My bullets are a one way to go down. Is this Not all you really believe like in, Zephyr? <coughs> Please excuse me while I re-skip all these cutscenes. Zephyr. Thanks, but no thanks. 
I'm only here to kill you. This battle is just a pretense to tell you the truth. What truth? Zephyr, you may have been misguided, but you were never alone. Yeah, when they hit, they good. Um, something very interesting, Zephyr. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm only here to kill you. This battle is just a pretense to tell you the truth. What truth? Zephyr, you may have been misguided, but you were never alone. Nothing like death to make you feel alive! Straight to hell! This is where my auto trigger is going to be a problem because it's just making me waste a lot of grenades.
Uh, so I picked this up, and I think this might be worth a try. I think really lucky would be getting a full scratch charge, but I'm not sure he's not immune to that or something. Just a pretense to tell you the truth. What truth? Zephyr, you may have been misguided, but you were never alone. Don't move a muscle! Oh shit, I ran out of grenades. So the key there was getting from hero action to hero action really quickly. Do you still have the scriptures she gave you? Did you ever open it to the last page? You should find a picture like this one just inside the back cover. This is my... my sister. There were a lot of orphans in that school. If you hadn't been so stubborn, I could have told you the truth. Their blood is on your hands! Yeah. 
again. Why? You idiot! You wanted to die, didn't you? Wouldn't it be better that way? Uh, I should be dead. You think that can make up for what you did? Not even close! <laughs> <laughs> Even alive. If you hadn't been there, I'd be dead. Isn't that enough? I want. Yeah. I want Leanne to be happy. Fair enough. Then, I can die. I know the Cardinals will not follow me unconditionally. It is because you have placed your trust in me that others lend me their support. I hadn't realized. That's just as well. It's enough that you go on being yourself. I don't know what I'd do without you. And Turian was a trusted ally, a true friend, with a shared vision for our future. Now, he grows more distant with each passing day. Lagerfeld is gone, too. The Cardinals have been scattered on the wind. It will never be as it was in Frida's day again. You're even less pleasant today than you usually are. Even that eccentric maniac Guerrilliano pledged his loyalty to Frida. You loved her, didn't you? I did. Lagerfeld and Turian, that freak Guerrilliano. She... She brought them all into her dream. Her dream of a world of everlasting happiness. I was so close to being utterly alone. I don't know what I would have done without you. <laughs>